What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and I just recently did a bit of coverage on Elizabeth and Hannah from Season 4, and now we have the new take on the summertime heroes, Rana and Yunin, and there are some synergies that go really well among them that I want to point out to you. So if you were lucky enough to get a mix of them, then you're going to want to try this. But first, join me over in Gemstone Legends. It's a fantastic match 3 RPG game and it's players who get in early on games like this who are at the biggest advantage. Not only will you help the channel out by using the link in the description of this video, but if you use the code hashtag lion underscore 2021 hashtag, you're going to get a guaranteed free epic hero named Elidor, along with 5 more gold scrolls, that's more heroes, and a bunch of gold and gems. And after you download the game, you're going to have access to the beginner events, which is going to get you one more free epic hero named Soliana and a bunch of free legendary equipment and a platinum scroll, which is again another free epic or legendary hero. Guys, wow. Just make sure to use that code within three hours of downloading the game and after completing the tutorial. And I will see you over in Gemstone Legends. All right, so we have some brand new costumes uh, for the Summertime Heroes, Rana and Yunin. And I'm not going to do a full review right now, but make sure you're subscribed because I will do that. And we'll go through these cards in detail. But I just want to take some time to point out a particular synergy that's going to be very useful if you just summoned for Season 4 Heroes and got Elizabeth or Hannah. Uh, and then also get Rana or Yunin. Uh, when you summon in the summertime portal, what's really cool is that you can get the costume and the hero. And remember, if you've been saving up those epic hero tokens, you can potentially get these for free. So that's really, really cool. Um, but there's a really important piece of text on this hero that I'm going to read to you. Uh, the target and nearby enemies get negative 75% decrease for any healing received for two turns. This effect cannot be cleansed. You're going to see that that's also on the regular side of the costume. And when I click on Yunin, this is really important. It is not on the costume side, but it is on the regular side. Uh, all enemies get negative 50% decrease for any healing received for two turns. This effect cannot be cleansed. And the reason that's so important is because you'll remember that Hannah and uh, Elizabeth give out these fiends, which are sort of like minions, but you can't get rid of them with damage. Uh, you've got to use healing. And it's been particularly easy to just bring a healer along and um, kind of counteract that effect. However, if you pair Rana or Yunin with that negative decrease for any healing with either Elizabeth or Hannah, then you're going to make it really, really difficult to get rid of those fiends. So there's a synergy here that's going to work really well. Now, um, that's just to say that those two effects synergize well, but, you know, depending on your play style, I don't know where you're at in the game. Um, please remember the speeds of these heroes. You see, when Hannah goes off, she's very fast uh, the, the first time, and then she's just fast after that. Elizabeth is average, but you can essentially make her fast by putting a level 23 mana troop on her. Um, Yunan is slow, so do take that into account. Uh, you're going to have to try and time these heroes if you're going to use the synergy. Rana, she's only going to hit three heroes at best. Um, sometimes she's going to hit two or even one. Um, but she is average speed, so just like with Elizabeth, you could potentially make her fast with a level 23 mana troop. You know, also, if you're um, building 3-2 teams or anything like that, you've got to have considerations for color. You know, we're talking yellow, purple, red, and green here. So it just kind of depends on if you're going to be taking that on offense or trying to set this up on defense. Like, for example, um, an interesting setup uh, on defense could potentially be uh, where you put um, either Rana or Hannah, depending on if you're using yellow tanks or purple tanks, you know, at the tank and then the other one at the flank or something like that. Now, I really don't think Rana and Hannah are uh, the best defense heroes. I think that they're both best used on offense where you can take advantage of that target and nearby heroes. Uh, just, you know, if, if you're letting the AI choose, sometimes they... You know, if there's a hero missing in the group that's attacking or whatever, it it can only hit one or maybe it'll only hit two or something along those lines. Like it'll 
target the end hero and then only hit two or something along those lines. So that's something to consider. But Elizabeth and Yunnan do hit everybody. Um, it might be a consideration to have both Elizabeth and Yunnan in something like a very fast war where maybe Yunnan's slow mana doesn't matter all that much um, because that would be quite a bear. He's also a fighter, so he will stick around and he'll just keep reviving and all that. Um, so, of course, that's very annoying. But anyway, I wanted to point this out. Uh, I will go more into depth on these particular costumes in a future video. So make sure that you're subscribed for that. But for now, I wanted to point out the synergy as a lot of you are summoning. Uh, because if you've gotten lucky and you have some mix of these Season 4 heroes, Elizabeth and Hannah, and now the Summertime heroes, Yunin and Rana, you're in for some... Uh, potentially very fun games and synergies that you can do with this. So anyway, if you haven't already, please consider smashing that like button, also hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live, and I will catch you in the next one.